Hey guys, quick update on Misty Mill. Today is all about installing the seawall. But first there's excavation. So what is a seawall? The seawall is basically the retaining wall that holds the lake back from coming into the property. Currently there's a timber seawall, basically just made of two by four pressure treated lumber. It's deteriorated and it's time to go. So I'm gonna replace it here with um, what's called Mega Tandem from Bellgard. This is actually two plates that are connected by a tie rod and then it's gonna be filled with gravel. Now, in order to hold the water back so we can install this type of seawall, uh, we have to actually create a dam effect to hold the water back. Now, a typical application is called a coffer dam, which basically is a big inflatable balloon or some type of barrier that gets built out in the lake and then the water is pumped out. After pricing those out, those came in between uh, fifteen dollars and $20,000 to rent for the month. We weren't going to have that, so we're just going to engineer our own, and I'm going to show you how to do it. What we're going to do is we're actually going to start with some six mil plastic. You can actually see over here that we've spread it all out. I've cut it into different strips. And as you walk over here with me to the edge of the water, you're going to see how I was able to attach it to the top of the seawall. We just used some cap roofing screws and the plastic is actually um, just kind of laid over the edge, which you can see when you walk this way. So you can see that we've actually cut the six mil plastic into strips. We've capped it with some cap screws and now we've just laid it out. Now to hold the plastic down to the lake bed, we're gonna create sandbags. So I just bought a whole pallet of play sand uh, from the hardware store and a whole section of these plastic bags here. So we're just gonna put the sand inside a plastic bag just like this. And this bag actually will help keep the sand from breaking free as we move them around. Then we're just going to basically wrap them around like a big bag, zip tie them just like this, and add them to the pile. Now this is what's going to go in the lake to hold the plastic down to act as a dam. From there, we're going to be able to excavate the back of the dirt out with a mini excavator. We're going to put in our gravel and start building our wall. Uh, after today, I'll give you guys some updates on progress, but we're ripping out the dock and continuing our hardscape paver. Lots of action going on today, so stay tuned.